Hello and welcome everybody to the Golden Century Technology Department. And as you know, I am building a brand new computer from scratch, putting all the parts together. And this is one of the videos of the series. So for the CPU, I have selected a specific CPU which I will be using for this computer which I'm going to build. And that is the i7-7820X which is an Extreme X-Series edition and one of the most brilliant CPUs out there for the price and for the features that it gives. One of the best things it has, it has 8 cores built in for processing all your data. So that's a very good thing a PC needs. 8 cores, it's sufficient for people who want to do gaming, entry-level gaming and extreme video editing as well because 8 cores is very nice for that purpose and at the same time you have the f uh, feature of overclocking with the X edition X series you can overclock this with the right cooling and other things components of the computer so without further ado let's straight get into unboxing this special beast it looks very small but it's a hell of a machine if we manage to connect this properly and use the full potential of this tiny chip, you could do wonders with this tiny machine. So let's get straight into it, break the factory seal that is very good the way they have done it. Let's cut the factory seal and open this box. So opening this box for the first time you have a booklet, a manual, the usual stuff, instructions with three years warranty and a nice sticker that you can stick on the thing or anywhere else you like on the system. I don't really use that but yeah and then inside you have the chip, the main brains of the system. In, in a nice packaging. I'm going to open all of this and show you the chip. So there you go. That's how the chip looks like. That's the box. That's the manual. And that's how the chip. Bear in mind, whenever you're planning to build this PC, this chip or any chip, never touch either this side or that side. Try to hold them from the sides because that's where the fingerprints go on the system, on the chip prints, and then it might cause an issue. So the best way to hold the chip is from the sides. And it's a brilliant chip for uh, users who want to use this machine for gaming, video editing, and other heavy content-based uh, projects such as architectural videos and models and designing stuff like that so highly recommended for those kind of users to, to use this chip one of the best designs and also one of the most powerful and currently it's not that expensive you can pick one up in the UK for around 600 pounds um, cheapest and it goes on so this is what I'm going to be using for my build so guys, if you enjoyed this video and you liked what we have talked about today and you like this processor and if you want to watch what are we going to do with this chip in the next video because this is where I'm going to make and put this all together. So stay tuned, join the community, subscribe to Golden Century Productions and wait for more nice content to come. Have a good day. Bye-bye.